O oh Lord, open my lips that my mouth will declare your praises. My dear friends, my dear young people, and all those who are watching this small little video during this Lenten season, the second, third Sunday of the Lenten season, uh, I just want to put small little reflection on L-E-N-T. L-E-N-T, Lent, which is supposed to be the season of renewal, transformation, uh, coming back to the Lord as written in the book of Joel, come back to the Lord, return back to the Lord and not tone, not tearing your garments but tearing your heart and transforming your heart. L-E-N-T stands for let L-E every negative thought let go of every negative thought. L-E-N-T now L is to let go, let go of our negativity, let go of our hang-ups, mindsets. E must encourage yourself, encourage others, empower others. E, N, N stands for negotiate with you and with your God, negotiate with your people, live in harmony and peace and unity. God wants unity, not uniformity, because you are unique and your uniqueness is very important. And T stands for transformation. The word of God that is enlightened my mind today is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Do not get conformed to this world, but transform yourself, transform your world, transform your situation by renewing spiritually your mind. So, L-E-N-T. This small little reflection has helped me to remain spiritually renewed during this Lenten season. May God bless you and keep you from all evil, lead you to everlasting life. Remember a small little prayer of serenity. O oh God, grant me the serenity and peace to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the thing that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. May God bless you. Remember, all is well. The best is yet to come. God bless you.